So my name is Ayo Deji Adegunsoy, and I'm a pulmonologist at the University of Chicago. Um, I practice pulmonary medicine uh, as well as critical care medicine. I also have a very heavy research interest in pulmonary fibrosis and outcomes amongst patients affected by this disease. So my research interests are primarily centered on improving pulmonary fibrosis outcomes by studying uh, those clusters of clinical phenotypes and the underlying genetic relationship to these clusters across patients with pulmonary fibrosis from diverse racial and ethnic groups. I do think the PFF registry is valuable, not just to me, but to researchers potentially around the world, because it's a very robust uh, US-based cohort of patients with pulmonary fibrosis. And, and, and th this data set contains carefully logged data that's been obtained from patients with pulmonary fibrosis who generously donated their data from dozens of centers all over the US where they've been treated for the disease. I think it's particularly valuable because it's collected in a longitudinal way, uh, meaning data is accrued and stored in it over time. And that provides a rich data resource to identify those unique phenotypes I talked about earlier, those pulmonary fibrosis phenotypes, based on routinely acquired clinical variables that we obtain in clinical practice. So things like demographic data, uh, serologies, lung function data, uh, and radiographic features as well. Now, it also contains many different forms of pulmonary fibrosis uh, within the registry. And these forms are present in patients who have been enrolled from diverse geographical locations around the country. And as such, uh, these patients come to us with very different manifestations. Um, and, and they have all this data stored in this registry with not just clinical, but also biospecimen data uh, in the same registry. Importantly, like I alluded to earlier on, it can also be used to determine outcomes such as hospitalization, as well as survival patterns based on the routinely acquired clinical data. Yeah, so I, I do think that having concurrent clinical and biorepository data contained in the same registry from the same patient is incredibly important because it does help us to better understand the biological underpinnings that lead to those clinical manifestations we see in clinic, in, in routine practice for this, as, as care providers for these patients. And, and that's the ultimate goal of precision medicine, being able to stop a disease before it even occurs or, or manifests in our patients. Having a biorepository with matched clinical and biospecimen data from a large group of patients of diverse racial and ethnic groups really advances that goal. So I believe that this would provide an uncommon but incredibly important opportunity to obtain insight into the disease from not just the patient's perspective, but from the viewpoint of caregivers who live with these patients who are affected by the disease as well. It also potentially would provide the opportunity to have matched controls so we can better understand the disease pathogenesis um, from a viewpoint of someone who's not directly impacted by the disease uh, from having the disease themselves, but having that exposure environmentally to factors that might be associated with the disease. So that way we can better understand the disease. It also, uh, I think, provides us with a unique opportunity for those who have obtained lung transplantation to study the time course of pulmonary fibrosis after new lungs have been given to the patient. So I, I do think that these are all valuable in our quest to improve outcomes for patients who have been affected by the disease. Yeah, so the robust data has been captured over years and years of, you know, patients with pulmonary fibrosis. I, I do think having all of this longitudinal data uh, would permit investigators to better study and understand the different aspects of pulmonary fibrosis and do that over time. And so having a cohort that's, you know, as large, as nuanced, as well phenotyped as this uh, would undoubtedly help to promote the primary purpose of improving our understanding of pulmonary fibrosis and potentially someday finding a cure for this disease.